this wine making process you will be needing an airtight container of this kind make sure you wash it properly with soap and after washing it you can expose it to the sunlight so that uh, all the bacteria and funguses living out there get killed by uv rays and i will be using sugar i'll let you know how much i will use it and I will be using is today I am using instant is there are two types of is you'll get in the market one is instant is which I'm using today and uh, another is active dry is the reason I'm using this instant is is because I don't need to activate it before using it but in case you get uh, the active dry is from the market make sure you activate it first before using it the primary role of is is to convert sugar present in the fruit as well as the uh, sugar which I'll be adding into alcohol. It is through the process of fermentation that the alcohol is released by the yeast cell as a waste product uh, along with the carbon dioxide gas. These are the only main ingredients I'll be using in this wine making process. So uh, you can uh, also use uh, cardamom and cloves to get a better aroma. So first of all I'll be crushing it to small pieces so that the juice from the fruits comes out. Now I have crushed them all, so it is now ready for to transfer to the container. Now I have transferred them to the container. It is now ready to add sugar and yeast. Since it is a small container, so I'll be using only two pinch bowl of sugar. I'm adding sugar because sugar acts as a source of food for yeast. Sugar helps yeast cell in the fermentation process. As a result, alcohol is produced. And I will be using two tablespoons of yeast. Mix it well. After mixing it properly, it will be ready for fermentation. Now it's ready for fermentation. Remember it takes 15 to 20 days for fermentation. And do not forget to stir it after every 24 hours and not to expose to any kind of heat source or sunlight otherwise the yeast will die and fermentation will stop 
add little bit of water so that the sugar will dissolve properly and it will be easier for the yeast cell to break down the sugar molecules into its food. You can enjoy the wine after 15 to 20 days. If you like the video then stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Thank you guys, thank you very much for watching.